<laughs> you know when something's happening and you can't really believe that it's happening because you wouldn't assume that people are so daft oh no baby oh no there's a hashtag right now on twitter and on instagram called influencers against bullying let me let me start from the beginning so i've gotten a couple of messages and i got a voice note from a friend of mine and they were like Sibu, check out influencers against bullying and i was like okay i kind of noticed it and i saw so basically a south african youtuber called uh hales world created a video where she created a halloween video and basically she said that this was a halloween costume and the makeup that she did she's a beauty youtuber the makeup that she did was native american indian this is a white 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 south african youtuber who created what she calls native american indian and then she gets called out she gets called out by one of her viewers hi there i'm one of your newer followers and usually i enjoy your makeup tips this morning however i was shocked to see your latest tutorial i find this gross and negligent Honestly, Native Americans are people, not costumes. Their culture is not for you to use as a tutorial, which in itself is disrespectful as you couldn't even get the tribe's wall paint accurate. As a content producer, it's your responsibility to ensure that you do the necessary research. It also shows me that you're not conscious in this current world climate with the likes of massive beauty companies being taken to task with the ideas and creatives misusing people of color. And then she adds a link. They add a link to an article that then explains why this is wrong. And in reaction, Hale's world goes off. I actually cannot believe you. Do you honestly think when I was making my tutorial, I was trying to mock their culture, their heritage, their being? Do you think I went out of my way to make a mockery of them and had a master plan to make consumers of them and nothing else? Do you really believe I do not respect them? I don't give a damn. Thank you for taking something so innocent and twisting it completely. Thank you for telling me how negligent I am and for explaining to me how I creatively misuse this idea. I hope you have an amazing day, Nicole. I hope I can only be a better person in future for you because clearly I'm not conscious of the world. Wow, so I wouldn't normally make a video about this, but one South African, South African person, a South African YouTuber, especially. So my home ground, my people, my people. And this sets a precedent for all of my people. We're a family, we're a big family. And if one of us is a loose chain, then something needs to happen. And you know what, that was bad enough, right? But then, but then a whole lot of uh, bloggers came together and started a hashtag called influencers against, bu against bullying. I am in pure disbelief. You know my saying, disappointed but not surprised? Like, when it comes to cultural appropriation in costumes, the first thing that always comes to mind is Native American costumes. That is like the biggest taboo because people do it so often that you hear about it that often. So then when you take your time and decide that you're going to make this into a costume and nothing in your head is going off, there's no lights just going wee, 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 wee. Maybe this is a bad idea. There is something wrong there. One, I'm shook at the fact that this happened. Two, she got called out and decided to be even more problematic about it, decided to be defensive instead of going, oh shit, thank you, I fucked up, let me delete the video. That's literally all. Everybody fucks up, everybody makes a mistake. Granted, not one that's so difficult to make, and it is rather difficult because even where somebody is racist or prejudiced, people know how to act in public. If you get what I mean. A lot of people might think that this is, is fine, right? But they won't show it in public because they know that 99% of the world thinks it's not fine. For you, as a content creator in South Africa, to go and be public about this and to just say it with your chest that you're not wrong. And then after a while, when it was in public and there was a lot of people, then all of a sudden, you've made a mistake. You apologize. And then a whole lot of bloggers start the hashtag influencers against bullying. And what do you do? You don't condemn them. You don't tell them to stop. You don't tell them that this is a bad idea. Because no, she was not being bullied. She was being defensive. She was triggering people. She was hurting and offending people by not saying I was wrong. I made a mistake. Same time, same place. Instead, she tried to ride it out. Thinking that some sort of privilege was going to be her shield. And guess what? It is not. This is 2017. That's not how things work. Let me see if I can find this hashtag. Let me, let me switch my screen recording her profile. 
Ooh, got a notification. This is her profile. Hale's world, uh, trying to find the words to express how heartfelt, grateful, proud, and awestruck and emotional I feel about this, but it's so incredibly hard to put in words. These women are absolutely amazing. So she's basically praising these people for standing up for her against being bullied. If I knew that I did something wrong and my friends and my followers and the viewers, if you guys went, no, you guys are bullying people, I'd be like, nah, guys, let's let this one go. Let's call it a day. But instead, you act once again like you're in the right and letting this happen. Nah, fam. Nah. This is a picture of a lot of white women. This picture just told me that I'm the only black person it's ever been with. This picture just told me, this picture just told me that I'm really good looking for a black guy. This picture probably calls Durban Umshlanga. Yeah. The hashtag influencers against bullying is not a smart idea and that's basically my, 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 my bigger point for this video is that the hashtag was started as a sort of defense against her in a moment where people should have stood together and said no this is cultural appropriation. So hopefully we learn from this, don't, don't culturally appropriate. Second thing, do your research. Third thing, when you're called out for something that is so obviously wrong, don't be defensive about it. Say thank you, learn from it, make amends somehow. And that's pretty much it. If I ever do something that ridiculous, please call me out. Yes, I understand that everybody's fucky and everybody's problematic, but wow, that is a difficult mistake to make. This, wow, wow, I'm shook. Ask you, what do you want me to do? Say it now.